Galvi cattle are popular in several countries around the world, including the U.S. Reporter Brian Baxter introduces us to some producers who rely on Gelvy genetics to help improve the performance and the profitability of their herds. Gelvy and Balancer cattle are well known throughout the beef industry for their maternal strengths and superior growth. With traits like more pounds of calf weaned, added fertility, greater cowherd longevity, and heavier carcass weights, Gelvy and Balancer cattle offer genetics that work for producers from Virginia to Wyoming. Gelvy cattle originally came over from Germany uh, in the 1970s, and that was about the same time that the American Gelvy Association was started. Uh, throughout the years, the Gelvy breed uh, has been very progressive, and in the early 2000s, the American Gelvy Association started registering the hybrid cattle of Gelvy and Angus, and we call those a balancer. Registered balancers are a minimum of 25% Gelvy up to 75% Gelvy, with the offsetting percentage being either red Angus or black angus. Balancer is also a more generic term for feeder and for crossbred commercial cattle. And I think it's a very uh, appropriate terminology because they bring a balance of traits to commercial producers, capitalizing on uh, the maternal productivity and efficiency that's inherent in the Gelby breed, also bringing in some of the stronger traits from Angus and Red Angus. I think there's a renewed interest in crossbreeding with many producers, and uh, Gelby has a lot to offer in that regard as far as uh, hybrid vigor and also breed complementarity. They cross very well with the British breed. So, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You get the strength of Gelvy, strength of whatever breed you're crossbreeding them with. Uh, people who run Gelvy and Balancer Influence females love those cows. And then on the feed yard side of it, uh, these Balancer cattle are great feeder cattle. These ranching families were quick to see the benefits of adding Gelvy and Balancer genetics to their herds, which gives them the added performance that comes with crossbreeding. Heterosis is one of the cheapest things that we can do in the beef industry to add value to any operation. I'm not a big fan of straight bred cattle in any aspect. Every breed brings traits to the table. In looking at a female operation, Gelby brings the strongest traits on a female side maternally. The ability to put calves on the ground that'll grow, cows that'll have a lot of longevity in the situation where that we don't have adequate feed and we can't maintain a great body condition score, those cattle will breed right back. They'll give their heart to feed that calf, but then turn around and give us the next calf the next year. So what heterosis is gonna do is no matter what breeds we cross, you're gonna get increased calf vitality, increased growth components, and an environmental adaptability. Different breeds are gonna excel in different traits. There clearly are very specific reasons why we want to make sure that we have Gelfi as, as one of the key components in our composites. Well, we're running the Gelfi balancer bulls that uh, the hybrid vigor that you get through through the crossbreeding really helps. And, and the balancer bulls seem to do that real well for us. Once you introduce Gelfi, you're going to get that hybrid vigor, that growth that is going to push those cattle to the most extent that they can become. And we've tried straight red Angus before and the Gelby side is just going to give you that much more growth. The maternal side, not only on the cows, you're going to get the maternal side, but you're going to get extra milk that you're going to get from that you wouldn't see in some of the other breeds. The most overlooked trait, in my opinion, in the commercial industry is longevity. And it doesn't matter whether you're buying a car or putting together a factory that we're going to call a cow. If you can amateurize that out over 14 or 15 years instead of eight years, look at the return on investment and our Gelfi cattle are solid. They're, they're the oldest cow in our herds, no matter how we use them in any composite. And as with other breeds, a strong association stands behind these families, serving them with a variety of programs that can help improve their herd performance and their marketing options. The American Gelvy Association has always been very commercially focused. So not only do Gelvy and Balancer cattle offer the traits that work for commercial cattle producers, but the American Gelvy Association also has tools and services to help those commercial cattle producers meet today's modern industry demands. Uh, those tools and services include our Balancer Edge and our Feeder Finder program, which help commercial producers to market their feeder calves. I just like to say that the Gelby cattle have been a 
a true asset to this operation. Uh, the genetics that they've brought to the table, the ability to utilize those genetics and to be able to set, set up a little unique system, a niche in a market that the Galvian Balancer operation has brought to this farming operation and the opportunities that it's brought to us to, to meet people and to, and to help the beef industry. To learn more about the Gelvy breed, visit the American Gelvy Association website at gelvy.org.